it's pretty vicious, right, what, what she did. Mm -hmm. 27 stab wounds, mm -hmm. I mean, his throat, shooting him in the head. So they're seeking the death penalty. What do you want to see happen if she's convicted, if the jury rejects her claim of self-defense? If, it, if it's rejected and they, they uh, ultimately do give her the death penalty, which I believe um, she does deserve, if, if you take somebody's life, especially in that manner, there is no reason for you to be in this world because this world is not a better place or a safer place until you are out of it. Um, like you said, that it, it is very vicious and very heinous. Um, 27 times, a, like, you, like everybody knows, throat slit from ear to ear and shot in the head. Um, that, that to me doesn't, doesn't scream self-defense at all. I believe one of your colleagues was on the show uh, last week and said that you have to meet, as self-defense, you have to meet force with force. Um, bringing another different weapon and, and the severity and the extent of everything that happened, that I, I can't see how that can be a self-defense case in any way, shape, or form. And Tanisha, what do you want to see happen to her? Well, I would love to see her get the death penalty. I think she deserves to get it. I don't think she deserves to find any kind of happiness ever again. And I know that in the women's prisons, they're, they get to hang around each other, get to um, communicate with all the other inmates. A lot of them find girlfriends and um, a lot of them have interaction with the guards and I don't think she should be able to have any kind of interaction with anybody else. She doesn't deserve to have that kind of happiness. You know, they adapt to their situation and I don't think she should, she deserves any of that. I think she should be on death row until she dies. You know, I had read to Nisha that you've, you've said that even if it took 20 years, like Stephen just said, to actually go through with the execution, assuming she were to get it, you'd attend. True? Oh, I, I, will, I will for sure be there. Absolutely. I believe as many of us as possible that are able to be there will be there. We want to see some kind of justice for what she did to my brother. I just want to say, you know, to anybody that's watching this or anybody that's going to read a story about what has happened, that you should use this as an example or a time to, I heard this before, to, to, to hug your loved ones tighter, to tell them that you love them, to, uh, you know, put aside differences and, and realize that life is so short and that you, you might never have the chance to thank somebody or tell them how you feel about them. And now is the time to do it, not tomorrow, because unfortunately tomorrow may never come.